Hello, and thank you so much for returning to the I Natural Body channel. This is Sonia coming to you with another video. I thought I would revisit the hot process or rebatching of soap um, method and also share with you some different ways that I'm wrapping some gift giving soaps for this holiday season. I'm going to incorporate burlap brown paper bag and also some designer paper that I purchased from Michaels or Hobby Lobby I think it's Hobby Lobby and also what's called raffia that looks kind of like hay or straw let's get started so I wanted to share with you the consistency that I aim for when I'm rebatching soap this particular batch that I'm rebatching I am going for a consistency that's not only um, pliable or workable, I want to make sure not to melt down all of the soap bits because I want a confetti type soap where you can see a lot of the different colors. So I had to incorporate a lot more liquid and my liquid of choice for the additional liquid other than what I shared with you guys already in the first video was just to use more water. So for me, what that will mean is instead of the 24 hour waiting period, I'll have to give it at least another couple days days over that time to allow some of that water to evaporate. I'm going to fill a five pound brambleberry silicone mold. The silicone I got from brambleberry just so that I wanted to share that with you also. So something else that I learned over the time of um, using the rebatch method to create soap products is that you can work with your crock pot on a low temperature and what this does is it allows you to maintain that consistency while working. You ever watch videos where you'll see um, a lot of the soap remains on the crock pot I don't like that. I think that that can be resolved by simply working with the crock pot on a lower temperature, being ever mindful not to have children or pets nearby, and you could keep the crock pot a little warm so this way you'll have um, a much easier process with the soap. This is what I come to learn and appreciate because if I wouldn't do that, then there's no way I would be able to work with the soap because it gets really hard really fast. The hot process soap method, though it leads a lot of character to the soap, you can have so much fun with it because you're not remaking soap per se, like adding lye water all over again. You're just melting down soap and creating a usable product immediately. So I did this batch in my kitchen. I took it back into my work studio where I have better lighting and this is what our um, five pound loaf looks like and as you can see I have a lot of uh, little burgundy or pink chips and dark colored chips along with that beautiful tan color I wanted to simulate like the springtime and it being the season of spring and giving and um, we're in reflection right now all of these different colors for me did that so I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on I always want to work with some gloves and remove this five pound loaf out of the mold. A shout out to Brambleberry because these molds make my life so much easier. Now keep in mind, this being a hot process soap, there will be some crumbling away of little pieces of soap, but that's fine. marking the lines and you'll notice a few pieces of the soap fall away and that is fine. And once the soap is marked, what I do is I go ahead and cut the uh, loaf into bars using the bud cutter. Now the bud cutter, I can manage it a whole lot easier and not only that, I'm able to um, adjust the size of the bar if, I, if it's absolutely necessary. And now you're able to see in this shot, you're able to see all the different colors. It kind of reminds me of the confetti soap. Mm -hmm. 
this was made using the hot process method. Now look at all of that character. Look at all of the detail. And that is transferred into each bar. So while I'm sharing with you that this is um, a batch of soap that I created for the season of giving and the season of reflection, I think it would be a nice time for me to ask you guys, what do you do when there are special occasions in the community, especially by way of our traditionals that we follow? What do you guys give away or do you even give away anything from your soap making or soap creating? Is it something that you've even contemplated? principle of always having a heart of giving. So I do encourage you if you haven't thought about it or demonstrated it, just give it a try. I promise you, you will have a fun time doing it. Now here's an up close shot of the different bars. And like I said, my goal was to capture a lot of the different colors and not melt down everything. The earth colors, the earth tones, but also play on those pastel colors that I know that I could get. Now next, what I'd like to do is share with you several methods that you could wrap your soaps easily using the different tools like um, burlap, some scotch tape, something to cut with like a pair of scissors or what have you. Um, if you don't have raffia, a lot of us have jute string and I have a roll here, I haven't opened it, but I'm gonna stick with the raffia. And then just some paper, like designer paper or paper bag. Michaels and Hobby Lobby having these different types of designer paper. It makes for a very easy, very affordable, very cost-effective way to wrap your soap. So let's begin. And this, my friend, is the end product of what we're going for. I like to call this one the naked bar because it's just the raffia wrapped around it several times. And then the bow that's tied on the front is made in the same fashion that you would tie your shoestring. And so it's very easy and I'll demonstrate for you right now. So you will take your raffia and double strand it um, or double it like this because the strand individually is approximately four and a half feet in length and that's quite a bit of um, raffia and we don't really need that much. So I'd like to use all of it, one strand per bar. So I double it and then wrap it around leaving enough so that I can actually make the bow tie or the shoestring tie around it. do is I go back and clean up any parts that I think are not seemly or that aren't aesthetically pleasing to me and that's it. It's a simple method that you can use to incorporate either in your shop or even just like I said as gift giving since we're in that time of the year right now and this is a very cost-effective way and it doesn't have to break the bank per se. The next that I'll demonstrate is using the um, designer paper. Just cut a strip of the paper lengthwise making sure to keep the message evidence in the wrap and if you have scissors this is where you'll just go ahead and cut a piece of the paper off if you have that now you don't have to use designer paper you can use plain white paper now think about that for a second how much is a packet of white paper it's not that expensive especially around school time two dollars for what three or four hundred sheets if you wanted to incorporate something like that into your soap shop and just have your own labels made, it's very easily done. Go 
ahead and wrap the soap showing you how easy it is now you will have to cut some of the paper away because that paper when you do cut it there is quite a bit of um, leftover It's very easy to do. It doesn't have to take a lot of effort as you can see. And it's as simple as wrapping. And now, because I want to make sure that all of them end up like this, you guys have seen me demonstrate how to wrap the soap with the raffia. Next we're going to incorporate brown paper bag, crumble it up really good and make sure you get a lot of the detail, what most people would say this is trash, we're going to incorporate it into the wrapping. Need for it to lay flat. Once I get it laid flat, I go ahead and kind of trim away some of the parts that are not seemly that I know I won't be able to use. I'll use this cutting tool, fold it to where it will fit. And the idea here is the same as with the cigar wrap. And basically I'll just cut my strips and because I need four pieces, because I did four of each wrap, and these, my friend, are for acts of kindness and giving. And you're familiar with the method, and you'll be able to see it demonstrated here. is my burlap ribbon. I found this burlap, colorful burlap ribbon, 
on clearance at Walmart. I purchased all that there was because I knew that I would incorporate it into my studio somehow. And I was excited to know that I can use it for this season right now because the colors complement the soaps. And this was what I was fond of mostly. But I'll show you how I prepare the burlap for wrapping. And the method is most similar to both the brown paper bag and the designer paper where I'm just cutting strips of the burlap and then wrapping it around the bars of soap and then wrapping the raffia right after that. And so now I'll go ahead and let you guys watch and see how easy it is to wrap and package the soaps using burlap. So my friends, this is the video that I wanted to share with you. I hope you are enjoying the spring. We are in full season now where we're all in reflection mode and I thought I would share with you what I'm doing for this holiday season. Go ahead and share with me some things that you are pursuing or doing for the community. I hope you found the video beneficial as always. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the recordings. This is Sonia saying I will see you in the next video. Bye.